or just chat with each other. Um, we are here in DigitalOcean. Thank you for providing the space. Um, a quick PSA, please grab your food, cans, bottles, and whatnot, and find a trash can um, so that we don't have to do too much clearing up afterwards. Um, and also a big thank you to Capital One, um, who's another of our sponsors who helps us put on this event. So with that, uh, I wanted to introduce Neha, who is a director of product management at Oscar. She's been there for about four years, which in startup land is a really long time. Um, her fun fact is that she's a huge Harry Potter nerd. Um, apparently she hasn't played Quidditch, but I'm not sure I believe her. Um, so please join me in welcoming Neha. Hello. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out on this like super steamy day. It's disgusting outside. So thank you for coming in. We're in an air conditioned space. Um, so uh, as Tim mentioned, I'm a director of product at Oscar. We're actually right across the street over there. Um, and I've been there for a little over four years. Uh, so before I ramble for the next 20 minutes, just a little bit about me. Yes, I'm a Harry Potter nerd. Um, I grew up in the beautiful state of New Jersey. I'm also a classic third culture kid. I was born in India and I spent all my summers there. I went to the University of Michigan and got an undergraduate business degree there. And yes, I'm a diehard fan. Um, I love to travel. Um, and this probably started when I uh, spent a summer in Cairo trying to learn Arabic. Don't ask me how my Arabic is anymore. Um, and then um, when I graduated, I didn't really wanted to didn't know what I wanted to do when I grow up. And so I decided to take the path of consulting to kind of just learn a lot about different aspects of a business. Um, and so I joined American Express in an internal consulting arm. Um, and I spent a lot of time thinking about digital payments from a strategic perspective. And while there, I transitioned over to product management sort of by accident um, and worked on a product called Serve, which is a prepaid product uh, that built um, an alternative banking platform for the underbanked. Uh, four years ago, I joined a young, ambitious startup called Oscar um, that was trying to tackle healthcare, and I've been there ever since. Um, in my time there, I've grown with the company. I've worked on a whole suite of things from building internal tools for our servicing team, our sales team, to building user experiences for our providers and our network, um, and also building our provider data platform, um, which I'll go into in a little bit. And then I also have helped sort of grow the team since I started. So we were around 100 people when I first started. We are now 1,300, 1,400 and growing. I'm looking at the Oscar squad up front. Um, and continuing to grow, and our product team is over 50 people now, and we're still hiring, so plug there. Great, so I'm gonna start out with the biggest understatement of the year or century, you name it, but healthcare is super complicated, and particularly in the United States, it is uber complicated. Um, so I'm just curious out of everyone here in the room, has anyone had any experiences dealing with healthcare where they've just you know, been confused or frustrated? Great, yes, that's crazy. Um, I imagine everyone here in this room is well-educated, solves tough problems on a, on a daily basis. And so if we as a group struggle with it, it's kind of terrifying um, you know, what the rest of the population deals with. Um, so we're Oscar. We're a health insurance company and a tech company trying to address a lot of these pain points. Uh, we strongly believe in engaging with our members to help shape their healthcare experience. And right now we have a little over 240,000 members across nine different states. Um, so I thought it would be fun to start out by walking you through uh, a bit of a member journey that an Oscar member would uh, go through. And I'm gonna highlight different steps that a member would go through, but then I also want you to take note of sort of the ecosystem that the member interacts with, the complexity and all the different people and touch points that they have. So to start off on the left, um, let's say you're an Oscar member. Actually, you're not a member yet. You're shopping for a plan. You need health insurance, so you may go to healthcare.gov or you may go to highoscar.com and shop for a plan. You're looking at the prices, the benefits, the plan design, and you select your plan and then you enroll. After you enroll, uh, you are then uh, able to download a mobile app or create your online account and on your, your app, you're able to manage your account, your bills, view your claims history, your labs, 
a bunch of different features, um, and you can also engage with a concierge team. You may also start tracking your steps, so you can sync your steps, and if you meet your goals on a daily basis, you earn a dollar a day. Now let's say you as a member you know, played at that game of basketball the other day, and you fell, and your hand really hurts three days later, and you don't know what to do. Instead of going to the emergency room, you may request a doctor on call visit. So we have a whole suite of uh, virtual primary care physicians. So these are doctors all over the country that are Oscar employed that deliver care virtually. So you can request a call on your app and one of our doctors will give you a call and give you a consultation. On the doctor side, they actually have a whole suite of care management tools so they can view our members' clinical history if they have any, their prescription information, their pharmacy information, so that we can make sure that our doctors give the best care and recommendation. So then let's say, unfortunately, our VPCP thinks that you may have broken something or pulled something, so it's probably worth going to a doctor in person. You can then log into your app uh, and search for a doctor. And so using our care router, you can find the best doctor for you based on you know, where they're located. You may like their bio. You may love their photo. Who knows? And you select a doctor. You can also schedule an appointment with that doctor because we've actually built a lot of scheduling integrations directly with our provider. On uh, the back end or behind the scenes of all of this, we have a massive network team that's working really hard across all of our markets to build relationships with these providers, sign contracts with all of our providers and facilities, labs, hospital, imaging centers, you name it. They do all of this using a suite of internal tools we've built to manage the network. Now, a few days before you go to your doctor's visit, our doctor may log into the OSCAR provider portal, which is another experience we've built out, to view information about our members, you know, what their plan is, what their benefits are, so that the appointment can go smoothly. They may recommend that you go take some labs or an x-ray, and then a few weeks later, you get a bill in the mail or your email um, that explains how much you owe the doctor and what the, the cost of your service was. Now, for that to happen, the doctor had to submit a claim to Oscar um, describing the services that they provided, and then our claim system has to check over 100 different data points to then calculate what services were covered, how much a doctor should be paid, and how much a member owes. And then let's say you have questions about your bill, which is totally natural. You can reach out to your concierge team. So the way our concierge team is set up is we have five different members that are assigned to a population of members. So every time you as a member may secure a message or call our concierge team, you're going to reach your same team. So they know you, they know your journey. Um, and on the flip side, our concierge team also has a whole suite of concierge tools that allow them to look up member information, action member information, engage with you, generate documents for you, really anything that you need to help you through your healthcare experience. So, as you can tell, it takes a village. And this is not in any way comprehensive of the whole world of 